I'm Tennessee Secretary of State Trey Hargett, and during the 2020 elections, misinformation is as rampant as ever. That's why I've asked our state election officials, your election experts, to provide answers to most commonly asked questions that we're getting so that you can go straight to the source and get information from trusted sources here within Tennessee state government. If you have questions about elections here in Tennessee, either go to your county election commissions or call our state division of elections and get your information from trusted sources. Don't rely on someone who's just slept at a Holiday Inn Express last night or someone who has a kitten for a profile pick and 79 followers. You have the opportunity to be able to help yourself cast your ballot as well as those around you. So let's make sure we have good, accurate information as we enter the home stretch for the 2020 election. The voter registration deadline is October 5th for the presidential election. Registering to vote in Tennessee is easy. Many people will complete voter registration forms when they renew their driver's licenses. Another convenient way to register or update your address is online by using your computer, laptop, or smartphone at GoVoteTN.com. There, you can also check to see if you are registered and if your address is up to date. You can also print, complete, and sign a voter registration form and mail it in to either register to vote or update your address. If you don't have a printer, call our office or your local election commission office to have a form mailed to you. We also offer free and voluntary training at GoVoteTN.com for those who want to hold voter registration drives. I encourage you to download our free voting app called GoVoteTN. The app allows you to see the dates and times polling locations are open, who is on your ballot, and more. Take a moment to register to vote and then vote. Your vote matters. If you have questions about registering to vote, the status of your registration, finding your polling location, or any other election-related issues, you can contact our office at one 877-850-4959. Your County Election Commission is also a great resource for answering election-related questions. The deadline to register to vote for the November 2020 election is Monday, October 5th. If you are submitting your registration by mail, make sure it is postmarked on or before October 5th. Early voting begins October 14th and goes through October 29th. Some counties have multiple early voting sites. You may vote at any early voting site in your county. The last day to submit a request for an absentee ballot is October 27th, and the request must be received by your county election commission on October 27th. You can track your ballot at GoVoteTN.com. Election day is November 3rd. Get out and vote. Poll officials are essential to conducting elections. As a poll official, you may be assigned duties that include processing voters, monitoring election equipment, or counting votes. This is a great way to get involved in elections, earn some extra cash, and give back to your community. Reach out to your local county election commission or visit pollworkers.govotn.com to see the necessary qualifications and apply to be a poll official today. To get your voting rights restored in Tennessee after a felony conviction, you can have an authorized individual complete a form called the Certificate of Restoration, which certifies that you are no longer under any supervision, have paid all restitution, and have paid court costs ordered by the court. That form is available on the Tennessee Secretary of State's website. You cannot complete the form. It must be completed by an agent of the incarcerating or supervising authority who has the necessary information. This is typically the probation parole office or criminal court clerk in the county where you were convicted. Once completed, you must submit the certificate of restoration to your local county election commission. If you have any other questions, you can call me at 615-741-7956. The safety of our voters and poll officials has been a top priority in planning for this year's elections. As a result, you'll notice some enhancements when you vote in person. We've worked to make the voting process as no touch as possible, so you may be given a disposable pen, stylus, or glove when you arrive. 
This will minimize your contact with shared surfaces and voting machines. We're providing counties with personal protective equipment for poll officials and enough hand sanitizer for every polling place. All poll officials are required to wear either a face mask or a face shield. You'll also see steps counties are taking to increase social distancing, like signage, floor markings, or plexiglass shields. We encourage all voters to do your part and wear a face covering when you come to vote in person, and we look forward to providing you with a safe and efficient process to cast your ballot. Registered voters who would like to know if they are eligible to vote absentee by mail can visit GoVoteTN.com. There you will find a list of categories of who is eligible to vote by mail, a form that can be used to apply for an absentee by mail ballot, and the addresses, fax numbers, and email addresses for all 95 county election commissions in Tennessee. Voters must apply for an absentee by mail ballot no later than October 27th. But don't wait that long. If you are eligible, apply now, and as soon as your county election commission has your ballot ready, they will mail it to you. Counties will start mailing ballots during the last week of September or the first week of October. Even though you have until the close of polls on November 3rd for the county to receive your by mail ballot, as soon as you receive your ballot, vote it and mail it back to your county election commission office so it is ready to be counted on election day. Once the election commission offices start sending out the absentee by mail ballots, tracking your ballot has gotten easier. GoVoteTN.com has an absentee by mail ballot status tracker that you will find helpful. By putting in your voter information, you will be able to see when your election commission office mails the ballot to you and when the election commission receives the ballot from you. By law, absentee by mail ballots must be mailed by the voter. A voter may use the U.S. Postal Service, FedEx, or UPS. Tennessee law does not allow for the use of drop boxes or for voters to hand deliver their ballots to their election commission office. Take time to vote. Every vote counts. One of the biggest factors in keeping polling places open is having enough poll officials. As usual, Tennesseans stepped up to serve in August, and counties did not have to close any polling places because of the pandemic. With your help, we'll be able to keep all of them open for November, too. Sign up at GoVoteTN.com today to let your county know you're willing to work. And thank you to the thousands of Tennesseans who serve and make our elections possible. For nursing homes that remain closed or have limited access due to COVID-19, uh, we developed a plan several months ago and we executed that plan in August. And we'll continue to do so for the November presidential election. Under the plan, election officials train and deputize a bipartisan team of those who have access to residents, such as staff, in order to allow residents to vote. This process ensures that those we love in nursing homes are not disenfranchised. For those voters who are in a facility outside of their county of residence, the voter may request to vote by mail.